What is up guys? In this video, I'm going to answer in detail a question that has been put to me innumerable times in most of my interviews, live sessions and Q&As. Here is how you can start your journey to becoming a wildlife photographer. Step 1. Learn the basics. A wildlife photographer is a photographer and someone who understands wildlife as well. So both are important. Start by learning the basics of photography and observing wildlife. Now, if you are new to photography and you have no idea about the gears you need to start with, understand about the various cameras, lenses, accessories that you need in wildlife. Learn about the fundamentals, the, the cornerstones of photography, the exposure triangle, camera modes, metering modes, auto focusing system, etc. Besides this, understand the gears and their features because photography is a collaboration between you and your camera. So it is extremely important that you know your gear in and out. Now, there's another video in which I've talked about a few things that you need to know before starting photography. Here is the link. Besides this, if you want to explore the basics, I have another video which I've made on exposure triangle. There's another link. And if you want to know about various lenses that you can uh, use in wildlife photography, here is another link. Now comes the question, how to learn? There are two ways. Either you learn on your own or take a course. Now, the hit and trial method works, but it is time consuming and demands a great deal of effort. But it helps you build your own experience. The second is take help. There are online courses and workshops for wildlife photography. You can join those for basics. It is quicker and you have the advantage of somebody else's experience who has already put in great deal of effort in understanding this field. Also, the course is structured and there is a lot of organized learning. Of course, there is uh, money involved, but again, that is an exchange of the time and effort that you save. Now, once you have an idea about the basics, start practicing. And you don't have to uh, straight away visit a national park or a sanctuary. On this note, let me tell you how I started. Now, I used to practice on pigeons and stray cats, most common subjects you can find anywhere. And if you're a city dweller and are unable to find even pigeons and kites and cats around, then uh, travel to the outskirts and see if you can find something there. Birds are great for practicing photography. And if you have any bird sanctuary near your place, visit that. Uh, go observe and shoot. But make sure you don't disturb the birds because if you stalk or make them uncomfortable in any way, they will fly. Chances are they get disturbed and they abandon the nest and probably they never come back. So please don't do that. Approach the bird very slowly and try and mix into the surroundings of the bird. Now you need to be quiet and you need to have some patience and you need to gel into the, the surroundings of the bird. The birds will become extremely uncomfortable if you stalk them. Wait for the bird to become comfortable around you. And once it becomes comfortable, it will start doing its usual activities. And that is the time when you photograph. Learn about animal behavior. Now, one of the most underrated aspect of wildlife photography is learning about the animal behavior. Because uh, people usually think that wildlife photography is just going to a jungle, taking those big lenses, finding a big cat and kicking it. Sounds pretty simple and easy, but it is not exactly correct. Animals do not exist for their camera. Animals have their own life and it doesn't exactly involve photography. Therefore, to successfully click the images you have in your mind, you need to study their behavior. Carry a pair of binoculars and observe. And this will help you anticipate the movement of the subject and you will have a fair idea how your subject is going to behave in that situation. And this will help you end up creating the image that you always have in mind or the composition um, that you always have in mind. Learn a post-processing software. Besides working on the basics in the field, try and learn a post-processing software. It brings out the spirit of the image. You will need a proper training in the software and some practice to be able to process nicely. The sensor of your camera is your canvas, but your pictures need some kind of fine tuning. You need to fix exposure, uh, some color cast, white balance, etc, etc. Build your portfolio. Once you have mastered the basics, start building your portfolio. Shortlist a few platforms on which you can showcase your work. You can start with social media websites like Instagram, Facebook, 500px, etc. Later on, you can of course introduce a website for yourself. Also try and explore the various wildlife photography competitions on social media. This can get you a lot of attention. 
shortlist a few established social media pages related to wildlife photography and try and collaborate with them tag them use simple hashtags and post regularly now comes the final step for which you all have been waiting for monetizing wildlife photography and please don't rush into monetizing wildlife photography the undeniable truth about wildlife photography in india is that opportunities are limited and if you want to bag one of those work on the quality of your images make considerable portfolio and try to collaborate with brands now most of the time brands contact by themselves but if you see a requirement or an opportunity anywhere that is your chance look for job opportunities on websites like linkedin and uh, others also at a later stage when you have uh, enough experience you can think of teaching or leading wildlife photography tours but of course that will take considerable time because teaching is absolutely another job and sometimes very successful photographers might not not end up being very good teachers now if you are someone who wishes to learn photography then i bring to you a comprehensive but crisp course on wildlife photography there are five live sessions two hours each all weekend classes starting this may 29th if you want to get the fundamentals right and need some fine tuning in the advanced concepts and want to level up your photography game here is your chance i will be covering topics like back button focusing golden hour photography action photography along with the basics like exposure triangle white balance metering etc besides this the course includes post processing classes too you will be working on lightroom and covering topics like basic processing noise reduction sharpening exporting the images in different formats creating watermarks golden hour processing action photography processing etc you can find the link in the description below Thank you so much for watching the video and if you have anything in your mind on which you want me to make a video on any topic that you want to suggest feel free to comment